G'day again, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick kit review or unboxing review on the Academy's one uh, seventy second scale ME one six three uh, Comet. Uh, just quick look at the box art here. Um, you can see it comes with a towing vehicle, uh, which is a really nice inclusion. They've done that with a few of their kits. I know one of the uh, ME one one oh nine kits comes with a little and if forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. Rettingrad to tow uh, the, the vehicle around or tow the plane around. Um, shows you different uh, tail wheel options. Also shows you a single seat and a two seat version, which is quite interesting. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the outside of the box. There's a little uh, blurb there in English and other languages. Um, so let's have a quick look inside and see what we get. Now, I snapped this kit up the other day and uh, it, was, it was quite cheap at a local store. Uh, it's getting on in years now, I believe, this kit, but um, it looked too good to pass up for what it was. It was, it was really quite cheap. Um, now, it gives you a little rundown on the history of the vehicle, or the history of the, the aircraft on the front there, and the development, and we'll have a quick look at the instructions. Uh, so you've got two versions you can build. As I was saying, you've got the single-seat version or a two-seater, um, and you can see you've got the options for the cockpits there. Um, as well as fuselage differences there and your controls, which is pretty cool. Uh, moving on, shows you either option for the halves. Tailwheel options, again. Keep going. Fuselage done, wings, uh, leading edge slats. Tail comes on, skid of the trolley, or skid and the trolley rather. Um, so I'm not sure if those of you that may not know, uh, this aircraft didn't have any fixed landing gear. So when it would take off, the trolley would actually typically fall away. It was meant to, sometimes it didn't, but it would fall away from the aircraft. And when the aircraft came back into land, it would usually glide in or would glide in, um, and, uh, deploy the skid, uh, to land. So it was un an unpowered landing, uh, which caused quite a lot of accidents if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then you've got the, once the kit's completed there, once you've made up your mind, you've got the towing vehicle, um, which I think is a really nifty idea. And it'll make for a pretty cool diorama. Um, and then let's flip over to the other side. Uh, painting options. So they give you quite a few uh, different color schemes here to go with. Um, and, you yeah, know, these can be a lot of fun, I reckon. Um, whether you paint them with an airbrush or paint them by a brush. I think um, oh, it's going to be hard to pass up on that one, I reckon. I don't know, that one or that one. I think I'm going to do the single seat when I build this. But I am looking forward to it. But they've got nice instructions there um, with a colour guide on the side there. So pretty simple. Nice kit. Not very many sprues. Uh, so there's only the four sprues in there. But uh, yeah, looking good. All right. So let's have a quick look at the decals. Pull these out. One second... All right, let's have a look. And they look quite nice. Uh, they're very thin. So perhaps a little too thin, but other than that, they look pretty good. Um, so just be careful when applying them. Make sure you don't break them, but I reckon that they should be fine. I, I have built a, a few other Academy kits. As I was saying, I've built um, a 190 and I've built some 109s as well from their, their range and um, I haven't had any issues yet but these they do look quite thin so just be careful with them when you're making them just to make sure that uh, you don't try and pull them across the surface or anything like that because you may damage them. Uh, canopy, you've got two canopy sets, the so single and the, the twin seat. They look possibly a little on the thick side um, but they are nice and shiny so they, they look quite good but they are probably a tiny bit thick. Um, but can't complain. Can't complain. It is a it is an older kit, as I was saying. Um, all right, let's have a look now. First uh, spray we've got here is the vehicle. It's pretty basic. Um, there's not a lot to it. So you've got suspension there, main body, trailer uh, to pull the vehicle. And curiously enough, it's got a um, set of tracks for the rear section. So I believe we'll just go back to the box art. If you have a look on the front there, come on, zoom in. All right, I'll do it for you. There you go. Um, yeah, so it's a combination. It's a wheeled and tracked vehicle, and probably because they had to pull these um, off the grass because they typically were landing on the skids or landing on soft surface. Um, so that's probably why that's got the tracked uh, section there, which is pretty cool. I like it. 
All right. So back to that. Back to that sprue. Uh, back to the sprue. Ugh, forgive me. Back to the um, tow vehicle. Looks like it's molded pretty well. Details pretty basic. Um, but most of the injection marks, everything are underside. There's no real flash to speak of, and I can't see any defects in it. So it looks pretty good. All these uh, pin marks should be on the underside, so you typically shouldn't see those. But yeah, no, looks pretty neat, doesn't it? Okay, dicks. Now, let's have a look at the main body. So there is the single seat version here on the left, or now in the middle. Um, now the panel lines, yeah, they're all pretty fine. They're very, very fine. There's, there's, yeah. Just be careful if you need to do any sanding or anything like that, that you don't delete them. Um, if you attach the wings, you might need to do a bit of putty or sanding and possibly rescribe. They are fairly fine but they look uh, quite nice, and I think they'll, they'll come up well with the brush. That's the underside of the fuselage. Once again, very fine panel lines, nice and neat. Um, can't see any mould marks, can't see any depressions in it. It's, um, it's quite good. Very nice. And that's the two-seat option. Just as good as the other two. Nice and recessed. All right, so we've got our seats. Seats are a little basic. Um, probably do with some, you might be able to find some aftermarket ones if you can, or just spruce them up as best you can. Uh, wheels for the trolley, tail, tail section. Nice and neat once more. And uh, your option of landing gear there. And those are the, the uh, control panels for the cockpit. So I don't know if you can see that, they're very, very tiny on this model, so just bear with me, I'm sorry. But yeah, the detail looks all right. It's not, not a huge amount, but it was a um, very well-priced kit, so you can't complain. I think that's, that's going to come up well with some good painting. Uh, and last section, it's going to be one of the quickest reviews I've done, I think, because it's not a very big kit. So it's obviously quite small in real life as well. It was a, it was a fairly small plane, uh, obviously. Now look at the uh, yeah ailerons and everything there. They all look good. Very simple lines on the wings. Very nice. I just want to check the injector marks on the back. Now there's nothing really standing out there, so it's going to be pretty easy to put together. Same with those. And look at that. Really, really nice little kit. It's fantastic. Um, cockpit controls along the sides and the tubs and everything like that, it's all very rudimentary. A um, little bit of scratch building, probably wouldn't go astray. Make it look a bit nicer, it's the back of the rest, that's okay. And single seat cockpit on the left here. Very good, I'm assuming that's the skid. Looks alright, what's on the other side of that? Yeah, probably that's sticking out a bit, so I'll probably sand that down, but nothing horrendous. It's only a really tiny, tiny little injector mark there. How awesome is that? A little, um, yeah, very, very cool. Excellent. Well, I'm glad I purchased this kit. Um, for an aircraft that really, you know, it did see combat, but didn't see much of the war, um, I actually struggled to, when I was looking at it, I was, I've been to quite a few model shows and I don't think I've seen a 170 second scale Comet ever in any of the model shows. I went through my photos, I couldn't find any, so it's certainly um, a kit that I'll be taking along the next one I go to, uh, provided I do an okay job of building it, fingers crossed. But um, yeah, no, it looks great. I think that's fantastic. Uh, in short, probably a really good kit for beginners because uh, you've got the two vehicles to, to build on. The kids will love it. Uh, I'm certainly a big kit, and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm really going to enjoy building it. I think it's fantastic. Um, yeah, just the the cockpit details are a little bit little bit sparse again, and these are a little bit thick, um, but shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I think it'll come up really, really nicely. Um, decals, just be careful uh, when applying them. Just make sure you don't break them. But, uh, yeah, great. Love it. Excellent.
great little buy. I say go out and get it if you see it. Um, off the top of my head, this kit cost me, I think it was about 12 to $13 Australian. So what's that? Maybe six, seven dollars US. Um, uh, why well, probably eight or nine dollars US and you know, five, six pounds roughly. So not much at all. Um, really good little kit. I can't wait to build it. Uh, once I do, I'll, I'll be sure to uh, stick some photos up on my DeviantArt page and you can have a look at it there. Um, thanks for watching. Any questions, just let us know. Um, you know please like, share, subscribe, uh, all of the above. Shoot me any comments you got. Um, love to get feedback, guys and girls. So uh, by all means, uh, anything at all, just let me know. And uh, thanks again. You'll see me again soon. Cheers.